as you might be able to see, I've pretty much purchased everything business-wise. The only thing left are landmarks, and then I did some of the, the side assassin missions. What's the premise behind it? So this is following up on that one guy that we set to be a master assassin to one oh. of the temple so the assassin den. So it's like a mission you can do only when you get a master assassin. No, it's it's part of the story because it's trying to make it. it they made it so that you had like you're forced to go to have the master assassin. The story to do one master thing. And then the rest of it is optional. Am I supposed to kill this guy? It's a red arrow, so yes. Oh, this is the guy that was an assassin that betrayed us. Wallachia? Isn't that where uh, Dracula's from? No, Dracula's from uh... not Transylvania. Yeah. No, it was Wallachia. No, it was Transylvania. The Bam Stoker was a guy who made it, and I'm pretty sure it was Transylvania. No, nope. watch the anime, bro. Okay, are you talking about Castlevania? You mean Dracula? Yes. No. <laughs> That's Dracula. He's from Wallachia. Oh, okay. That's what the anime is. That's not... Anime is truth. Okay, you know what? Why would they, why would they put non-canon stuff in the anime? It's canon to Castlevania, but it's not canon to Bam Stoker's novel. Alright, I'll look it up. Alright, let's do it. In... Why don't we play the vampire game then? The Blood Masquerade. No, not that one. The other one. The Vampire? Yeah, Vampire. Vampire. Romania. Yeah, but where's Transylvania? He was named Prince of Transylvania and Voivode or Prince of Wallachia. So we're both right. Isn't, vamp isn't Vampire or Vampire? I'm gonna die! That was a mistake. Uh, all right. Uh, sorry, what were you saying? Isn't Vampire just Dark Souls, but as a vampire? Because I remember playing that game, and it was very similar to Dark Souls. I don't think so. I you, think it was... You get a sword and a gun. Well, I guess Bloodborne. You get a sword and a gun, and then you're just fighting, like, werewolves and monsters. I mean, premise-wise, it might be very similar, but I don't think gameplay-wise it was. I think it's the other way around. That gameplay-wise is very similar, but premise-wise it's not. Like, story. I mean, I'm down to no, play it. I'm right? pretty sure I remember that game being like, it's like an action-adventure RPG. Like, not a Dark Souls-esque. From what I remember, there was no actual story. To be fair, I only I, I only got so far oh, into it the game corrupted. This guy this guy looks familiar. Who's Sophia? She's the lady from the bookstore. No. That's what I thought. It's Duccio. <laughs> Who was that? Uncane. He was engaged to my sister many years ago. And what happened? His katzo was engaged to six others. <laughs> I like how your assassin pushed you down. And you still were able to whistle. Really thought you were gonna call your assassins on your assassins. <laughs> that's it! Kill him! Um, that's my brother. Kill him! He's a Templar! Kill him! This turns into the witch trials. Anybody <laughs> who disagrees with Ezio is a Templar. 
Dude, can you imagine if, like, oh, if you're an assassin, who's really gonna tell you that you're wrong? Right? Because you, you. No, I mean from your own order. No one's gonna say, "Oh, he's wrong." You could basically use that to get rid of a dude who cut in line in front of the deli. Just a guy bumps into you accidentally. Oh, sorry, sir. Squint eyes. Templar. <laughs> Just ah, uh, goddamn Templars. Where does this rope take me? I think this rope takes me exactly where I gotta go. Cause you know, you know that's what the the witch trials were. Was that if you didn't do what somebody wanted, or if you didn't pay what somebody wanted, they'd call you a witch, and then, you know, what are you gonna say? No, he's a liar. No, because he's a man. Also, I don't know how much history you know about the witch trials, but it's like insane. Like there were kids calling people witches just because they thought it was funny. Yeah, it, it's pretty bad. I don't... Why are my assassins just standing there? They want it to be a fair fight. The Borgias. That... Uh, the show? HBO show? Yeah. My god. Were we wrong about a lot of stuff during our Brotherhood playthrough? Well, I will say that show is only partially accurate. Well, no. The are all good. I mean, the, the history is correct, I think, more or less. Well, the history but is more correct than the, than the game. The characters are slightly off. No. Well, the thing is, every time we... Because it's more accurate than this, because this, the game never happened. Look at the damage. But at the yeah. same time, um, a lot of the stuff that we would bring up, that we were like, oh, maybe this happened in history, history, and then, you know, it's just showing this. It's like, no, that never, never happened. For example, Cesare didn't run away to a different country. He ran away to Micheletto's army, who was his general. And he also that's what he said before like when we sorry that's what he said before when we um when we first like killed all of his men and he had to run away when he was poisoned he was like uh Micheletto's army is almost here and when he is we'll kill you and then you had to chase him before he got to Micheletto's army and that's what uh, the end was but the um the the Pope is actually skinny in that show he was supposed to be fat and uh, Jeremy Irons, the actor who plays him in the TV show, even said he wanted to turn down the role because he's like, physically, I'm not, I don't want, I'm not going to be prepared for this. And he doesn't feel comfortable putting on that much weight for the role. And they were like, no, it's fine. We can take liberties with it. We don't care. And then he was just like, ah, okay, I guess it's a lot of money. Well, it's, well, it was liberties because it was the first two years that he was Pope that it focuses on. One to two years, so I guess Goodness. it was um, room for error. That and I don't think anybody really cared. I mean, it's Jeremy Irons. Are you really gonna say that you don't like Jeremy Irons? Like he's he's probably the best. Also, that that sh did you know that did you watch the show? The Borgias. Yes. I watched a few episodes of it. I didn't watch a lot. So Cesare had a brother. Spoilers for like a show that ended or started in 2013. But Cesare had a brother that he killed, and apparently he was a cardinal. That I didn't know. I don't know how how true this is to history. But I mean, I would assume. Besides the conversations, the rest of the stuff is true. Like how Cesare went to France, or how the France army uh, invaded Rome to get to Naples, like that kind of stuff, because that's historically easy to find. Like, I don't know about you, but I'm really happy that these things don't come back after a while. Like, at a certain point, they stop, and then they don't come back. You don't got to worry about having to do climbing puzzles anymore.
You mean padding? We don't have to do padding puzzles? Yes. No, because the, the maps just become so open that... The padding is... <laughs> running around the city. Yeah, I think the, if I recall correctly, the last game to have it is Black Flag. Why? Well, that's not fair. Black Flag needed it. But Black Flag, it was still, like, minimal. It wasn't a lot. It was only, like, s certain story areas, and it wasn't anything else. And, like, this isn't even complex. Did you see there are places where they left ladders so I could get back up? This is not hard. It's not like that one sewer mission that we had where it was timed and I just could not get it. We were in a tomb and you had to pull a lever and then like do all of this like stuff to get to the other side. Oh, where you forgot that you could fast swim? Yeah, I probably. that. Yeah, and it just took so long. I mean, maybe he has kids after this game, but like... Yeah, it's after this game. It doesn't take place in this game. But that's what I'm saying, like, as of right now... All the way around. Dude, you can just return to uh, Destiny Island whenever you want. I didn't even notice that. What? You can return to Destiny Island. It's in the start menu. Do you know what Destiny Island is? <laughs> yes, I do. You can't yes and me? Jesus, Ricky. No. <laughs> Whoa, he looks like the guy from dead? Cowboys and Aliens. He was no sorcerer. Just an I don't know exactly what you're talking about. Have you know you who I'm talking about? I have. Yeah. I'll tell you. The g Gambit, that's who it was. Gambit from X-Men Origins. Let me have it. He was also the guy from Conan. Like when they remade Conan the Barbarian. Nah, I never watched it. Or no, not Cowboys and Aliens, the one where he went to Mars. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, isn't that... Cow oh, that's not Cowboys and Aliens. Are you fit to travel? Well enough. Yes. I asked Malik to ride oh, look at our health. We're the strongest that we've ever been. Would you ride to Akre and do the same? Of course. Can y'all get out the way? You went the wrong way, what do you mean? Get out! Go! I have to throw him off of the place that he made me jump off in the beginning of this game. And then you get back, and then before you're able to be punished, the Templars attack the tower, and then they say, assume the positions, and you go stand up on the top of the tower, and they said, see, our people aren't afraid to die, and then you do a uh, leap of faiths off of the tower. His, Ezio, I mean, I'd say, uh, Altair's robe is just way too long. Do you, know, do you see this? Like, it's weird. It's, I don't think it's long. I think it's... Compared to everyone else, everyone else has like knee length robes, whereas his are like ankle length. Well, yeah, is, wasn't that because of the monks? That that's the point. He's supposed to look like a monk. I guess. If anything, the other ones look weird. There's a. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the that that trend on TikTok where it's like it plays a song and then people get into like a position and then as soon as they get in the position then it flashes to a picture of them from like 10 15 years ago okay in that same like position and pose and all that what what are you getting at so i saw one of them where it was this guy and he was dressed in a jedi robe and he got down on his knees oh, and he, he was looked the youngling and he was the young yeah, one. I saw that too. <laughs> um, There's actually a really good point that someone made where they're just like, I mean, think about it. You're already mentally insane. You're doubting everything you've ever done. And you walk into a room where a child calls you a master, full well knowing you're not one. 